You want to make a modded Minecraft server specifically with Forge. Well, in this video, we're going to show you how to do that in 1.21.7, and you're probably going to want to add some mods to your server. Let's start off by downloading those, because honestly, that's the most fun part. You can find links in the description down below to CurseForge and Modernth, which is where we would recommend downloading Minecraft mods. You can also find this on Google by searching Minecraft Mod Downloads, and you'll be able to find, again, CurseForge and Modernth right there. Now, on these, you want to make sure you're always filtering for Forge and then the game version 1.21.7, because, well, only these mods will work on your server. We're going to go ahead and grab Journey Map because, well, honestly, it's just an amazing mod. We can go to Files here, and again, we can filter for 1.21.7. Forge, this is what we want. Click the three dots and click Download File. After a few seconds, the download will begin. Now, while it's downloading, I do want to mention the server we're starting here is not a 24-hour server. It's only going to be up and running when your computer's up and running. Plus, it uses your own internet connection and your own computer, meaning you're going to need a good computer because modded Minecraft servers are very resource-intensive, and you're also going to need a good internet connection. Also, anyone who gets the IP address of this server can figure out where you live down to your latitude and longitude coordinates, so it's important to not give this out to everyone. But what if you don't have to worry about any of that? You don't want to have to worry about your computer specs, you don't want to have to worry about how difficult it is to start a server, port forwarding, allowing your friends to join, only making sure the IP goes out to certain people. What if you just want a simple way to make a server? Well, that's where our company, Simple Game Hosting, comes in. At the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash simple, you can start a modded Minecraft server in just a few clicks, and there's even one click installation of hundreds of mod packs, meaning you can play mod packs with your friends quickly and easily without having to worry about uploading stuff and all of that. If you want to add your own mods though, you can easily add those to the server and there's even expert live chat support there to help you out along the way. So don't struggle to host a Minecraft server, start your server the simple way at the first link in the description down below. Breakdown.xyz slash simple. Nevertheless, with this mod downloaded, we can also download mods from Modernth at 1.21.7 Forge, for example. However, we're not going to get any from here because, well, we don't really need any. We've already got Journey Map. Actually, I guess we could go ahead and grab Simple Voice Chat. Just why not? Going to a version here we want to make sure we're filtering for forge 1.21.7 this is the version we want and click that download button now we also are going to need the forge mod loader itself because well we need the forge installer to get the server files also anyone who joins your server is going to need forge installed on their own computer so we have this link in the description down below it's a guide on how to install forge on your computer you can click this download button to go to the forge download page we can also google minecraft forge download and when we do it will take us here we can click this and make sure 1.21.7 is selected in the left hand side then come under download latest and click on installer and that will take you off to add focus or stop just put your hands in the air wait about 10 seconds after about 10 seconds a red skip add button will appear in the top right so we go ahead and click that skip button in the top right here and we click that forge will begin downloading make sure the file you're downloading has dot jar at the end and is a forge file and then click save and it will download now we can go ahead minimize our browser and we want to move all the files that we have to our desktop now for me, that's going to be the Forge installer here, as well as both of the mods that I want to install, Voice Chat and Journey Map. However, if you don't have your mods yet, that's okay. We can get mods later and add them at any time to your server. With those moved, we're going to be starting off with the Forge file. We can set the mods to the side for now. However, we also need to create a new folder. So right-click, create a new folder. You can title this anything. I'm going to title it Forge 1.21.7 server because that's what this is then we want to open up the forge installer here by right clicking on it clicking open with and clicking java now if you don't have java there that's okay you just need to go get java specifically java 21 from the description you can also google java sc21 download and it will take you to the download page for this right here but you can also get there by clicking that link now once you've got this downloaded you may need to run the jar fix after it's installed but first get java then run the jar fix and we'll be good to go now, with Forge open, first, we need to install it locally, which means in your Minecraft launcher, we need to install it. You and every single person joining the server needs to do this, so click Install Client, click OK, and it will now do that. Once it's finished, close out of Forge by clicking OK, and then open up the Forge installer again. Right-click Open with Java. Now, it's time to do the server side. To do that, click on Install Server. A red box will appear. Click the three dots, and then go ahead and locate that Forge 1.21.7 server folder you made. Click Open and then click OK. And it's now going to install the Forge server files into that folder. Once it's complete, click OK, and you can actually delete Forge from your desktop. We just need the stuff that's in this folder. Open that folder, and in here you'll have everything you need to know, including this run.bat file or this run Windows batch file. Go ahead and double click to start your server, and the server will attempt to start. It's going to fail, though, and that's because you need to agree to the Minecraft EULA. However, we didn't have it before, but now we have this EULA.txt file. Open that up and change EULA equals false to EULA equals true, assuming you agree to the Minecraft EULA. Then click File, Save, and we can double-click that run.bat file again. Now, your Minecraft Forge server is going to start. However, if you wanted to add mods to it, 
You could do that as well before you start it by going to this mods folder here and just moving any mods you want to install into it. So we can drag and drop these over, right like so. Now, you need to install these locally in your Minecraft folder as well. So we want to go ahead and select these and then right click copy because we're going to need to paste them there. However, we can see that the server is now up in the background. We've also got it here in the console and you can tell that by uh, it saying done here. Now we did add those mods, so we'll want to stop the server by typing stop over here, hitting enter. That's going to shut the server down. You can also do things like change your server up properties file, which is a great way to customize your game mode, difficulty, all of that. And again, add mods by dragging and dropping them into this mods folder. Then double click that run.bat and the server is going to start. Now before we jump in game, we want to install these mods locally as well. And when I say locally, I mean within your Minecraft launcher here and your .minecraft folder. So to do that, go to installations. You'll have this forge installation here. Hover over it, click the folder icon. And then in here, you should have a mods folder. Open that mods folder and then right click and paste. That is going to be pasting voice chat and journey map in this case, but any mods you have on your server also need to be installed here for you and any person joining your server. Your friends from across the world, your friends next door, your brother in the same house has to have the mods in their local mods folder right here as well as you having them on your server for it all to work. Nevertheless, once this is set up, we are good to go ahead, close out of the mods folder, and we can launch Minecraft using Forge because we can join our server. Now at this point, we're the only people that can join our server, but it's a good time to test things. Make sure your server can run on your computer with Minecraft running and all of that. So that is what we're going to do. And once we're in game, I'll show you how you can join the server. Now again, you're the only person that can join. We'll talk about your friends joining here in a second. For you to join, go to multiplayer, click proceed, and then click add server. Your server address or IP address here is going to be localhost. You're the only person that this IP address will work for, but again, we're just testing. Click done, it will resolve, and we can double click to join this server. We'll see us join in here on the left hand side. You can see player Nix Games. We can see that journey map is uh, openable with J, as well as voice chat can be configured with V. So we'll go ahead and press J here. That opens up the journey map. And then if we press V, that'll open up all the voice chat stuff, but we're not doing that right now. We just want to see that things are working. Now, with that being said, what if you want your friends to be able to join this server? Because it's all cool that you can join this server and play on it, but what's a server without anyone else on it that is playing with you? Well, in order for your friends to join, you're going to need to port forward. And we have this in-depth guide on port forwarding. It goes over everything you need to know from start to finish to allow your friends to join using the public IP address that we mentioned at the beginning of this video and all of that. So go here, go through this tutorial. It will help you. It's in the description down below. And you can also just search the breakdown port forwarding and you will find it. Now, with that being said, once you've got that, your friends will be able to join and play with you on this server. Just make sure they install those mods locally. I know I've mentioned it a million times, but it is commonly the reason my modded Minecraft servers have issues. Mods have to be installed locally in that .minecraft folder within the mods folder of every single person who joins for the server to work. Nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content. We will see you in the next one. I am out. Peace.